everyone, thanks so much for joining us on Go Local Live in the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. I'd like to introduce Kathy Manning. She is the Dean of Dean of Center for Workforce Development and Continuing Education at Quinn Sigmund Community College in Worcester. Kathy, thanks so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. I'm so happy to be with you. So you have an, a very exciting program happening. I'm going to call it QCC, so I don't have to <laughs> go through that all again. I think I pronounced it correctly. Um, at QCC, you are implementing the first um, drone certification program in Massachusetts at a community college. That's pretty exciting. It is really exciting, and we're very uh, we're very pleased to be able to bring this because we do believe that this is a technology that is really going to disrupt a lot of industries, and uh, people are going to have to be prepared to integrate it into the way they work. So we're really pleased to be able to, to launch this in a couple of weeks. I think that's interesting what you said. This technology is going to disrupt a lot of industries. So I like the way that you phrased that because I think that's so true. This technology is really going to make a difference in the way that we work and interact. So I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about this. Uh, why decide to offer drone certification? Well, one of the um, mandates for um, our work that we do here in the center is to really ensure that the workforce that's, that is working today has the, tech, has the tools to work in the workplace of the future. And we are seeing technology really change the way people work. And in order for you to remain employable, you really have to be sure that you have the skills that are needed by the employers today. So we're constantly looking future cast on what we're going to see in the workforce five, you know, six, seven years down the road. Um, I read a statistic the other day that said 85% of the jobs that graduates are going to take in six years don't even exist today. That does so that's pretty, yeah. Yeah, that does not surprise me, and I think continuing to move forward as we see more technology develop, I think that's just going to go up and up and up. Absolutely. So do you see this offering drone certification, do you see it as an opportunity not only for the college, but an opportunity for people in central Massachusetts to be involved in something like this? Yeah, I mean, it is, um, our, our mission is to educate the individuals that are living and working in central Massachusetts. But, you know, our mission is education in general. So we really want to have um, a portfolio of programs that meets the needs of a pretty broad spectrum of individuals. So whether they're looking to, to do something professionally or they're looking to skill up for another reason, we want to be able to provide that for them. And so we're constantly reassessing our portfolio of offerings, dropping those that are no longer relevant, adding those that are coming up. Um, and it keeps us um, it keeps us moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, I think that the drone popularity is growing uh, probably a little bit faster than any of us really had thought about, uh, but we're not really quite sure of what the potential is. I think a lot of us are thinking about it and estimating, like you said, uh, you know, this really is going to be something big if it's not already. Um, do you think it's important for schools like yourself to either, you know, to get in while you can, try to stay ahead of technology, or at least get in now? You know, I think that um, this technology is only going to grow in its usage and in its complexity. Um, as drone uh, technology advances, you're going to need to have um, higher, higher, higher educated individuals. Um, you're also going to need to see things outside of the drone pilot um, spectrum. So you're going to need people that know how to design drones, that know how to program drones, that know how to build them, that know how to repair them. So it's, it's really beyond just the unmanned aerial vehicle, which is what drone, the drone industry likes to call itself. It's just beyond the pilot. There's a whole spectrum of careers and workforce development opportunities in this particular um, area. And I think that's what's neat is because your school is not just offering certification. You kind of have a bunch of different classes. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about what exactly you'll be offering? So for this particular uh, course, so we're offering a bundle of courses, it's called Become a Drone Pilot. 
And um, I have my instructor here who um, is actually a drone pilot, and um, he took the, um, the Part 107 uh, license for the FAA. So in order to pilot a drone for commercial uses, you have to have a Part 107 license. So that doesn't apply to individuals that are doing this recreationally. This is really a workforce um, class. Um, and then we bundle things like um, how to start your own drone business, how to, there's some piloting courses, and then there's the test prep um, portion of it. So it's really geared towards the workforce. Um, certainly if you're a drone enthusiast and you're using it recreationally, you can take those classes, but it's really geared towards that part one itself. So I was looking at some of your uh, course courses that you offer at QCC and I found it so interesting just the type of courses that you offer. Um, one was something about podcasting, there was another one about extreme couponing, and then of course just, just different things that really stood out um, and really preparing people for the workforce. I mean those were just two that I were like, wow that's cool. Um, do you find it better for people and to get more people interested in what you're doing if you're staying relevant and finding unique opportunities um, for people to get in and get hands-on experience and learn about what's happening in the world? Yeah, you know, 100%. You know, we're seeing things move at hyper speed, and a lot of it is being driven by the innovation in technology. And, um, you know, the days of, uh, you know, going to work and working for a single company for 25 years and getting your go watch and your retirement and your pension at the end, they're over. It's not, yeah. um, today, you know, today's graduate, they're going to have an, an um, average of 10 different jobs and maybe three different careers. And so um, some of those career changes may, be, may come because a, a job went away. Um, if you look at the medical records field, um, they were mandated to move to electronic medical records, and so all of those medical records jobs that were done by people based on a, a paper file system are gone. Yeah. And so those people had to be either retrained on an electronic medical record system, or they had to be re-careered, re-engineered for a different career. And that's, you know, look at, um, look at what the transportation industry, I mean, taxi drivers, Uber has disrupted them to the point where, you know, taxi drivers will probably be obsolete in the next five or ten years. And let's not even talk about self-driving cars. What's that going to do to the transportation industry? Ooh, yeah, cool. That's a whole nother topic. Uh, yeah. I find this very exciting, very interesting, and opens the door for a lot of people, whether looking to start their own business or looking to get certified. I mean, there's all kinds of things coming for aerial photography. Um, I, I mean, there's, there's all kinds of things, and I think that what you're doing is pretty neat, opening the doors to a lot of people that um, might not otherwise know how to go about it. So, pretty cool. <laughs> It is. We're excited. And, you know, we're seeing definitely a, a broad spectrum of people that are interested in it. Um, a lot of them are photographers, but, you know, we have some uh, engineers that are interested. Um, obviously, public safety is a big application. So I think we'll have a very interesting mix of people in the classes. Um, that's really neat. And so can people, uh, is this going to be offered just like once a semester? Are you going to see how it works out with initial enrollment and then see how it progresses from there? Yeah, so initially what we'll do is um, we'll do these introductory courses, but um, with all of our courses, we do a check back with participants. We do an environmental scan with our workforce partners to find out really what it is that they're looking for because it's best for us to build our programs from the outside in, find out what it is that the workforce is needing, and then provide that solution. Um, I do envision us doing some very specific market verticals for drones. So we might do something like, um, you know, uh, drone usage in real estate, drone usage for uh, law enforcement uh, or safety professional. Um, and so those are in the works right now for the next um, iteration. Cool, cool. Well, I appreciate you taking the time with us today and talk to us a little bit about the program, the first drone certification program at a community college in Massachusetts at QCC. Kathy, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. And thanks to Simon, who's next to her, um, offering insight as well. So we appreciate that. Thanks so much for chatting with us today. Wish you the best in the upcoming school year. Back to reality, right? <laughs> Great. Yeah, back to reality. <laughs> uh, Kathy, thank you so much for joining us today on Go Local Live. I appreciate it. It's great talking thanks. to you. Have a great one. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye.